Good morning, good morning. I'm going to hop on here early today. The contractors are still not here this morning, so I thought, well, maybe I've got time to do a live before they start banging on the walls. Um, I think they're putting sheetrock up today, so it ought to be pretty noisy on the walls. Um, I am Pam Savage with Young at Heart Creations. So glad to have you on here. And uh, if you're a newbie, if you've never been on before, please let me know and let me know where you're from. Uh, say hello. This is a little project that we worked on yesterday. We uh, used if, uh, painter's tape of two different sizes. So uh, that technique is, um, it's fun and relaxing and something great for, uh, for children to do. So go back and watch that replay on the video from yesterday. Uh, and it does say something about painter's tape and canvas uh, project. So go back and watch that one and you can see how we did it. But the more I got to looking at it, um, I want, now it, it's just fine, just this way. I mean, you could leave it just this way. But all of that white, that's blank canvas in there and I just can't leave it completely blank. So I kind of practiced a little bit last night putting some circles um, on it with our, just with our sponge daughters, uh, daubers, whatever you want to call them. But um, pouncers, I think is what most people call them. But this is what, uh, I'm going to work on this morning for a few minutes. I want to add some more shapes into it. So I'm going to use um, the daubers to do some different colors. Uh, the, pull the colors out of here. And then I also have, I bought these probably 30 years ago. I don't know. They're, um, I don't find them anymore. I did go in and get some more on Etsy. But uh, it's called Fun Paint Daughters. And it's got the stem here, and then each package, uh, this is the handle that you would put it on. Uh, I just use it with my fingers, but they have so many different shapes. That one's a square, or it could be a, a diamond. Uh, here's a little circle one, a uh, triangle, and then they had stars and flowers and hearts and just all kinds of things that I, that I bought. I did find this pack, a couple of these, on Etsy. Somebody still had some like me and were selling them. So I got them on Etsy. But as far as I know, they do not make them anymore. Um, I've not been able to find them. Here's a little sample of, I don't know if you can see that, of what they do. Just the little shapes. We're going to try that this morning since this is kind of an abstract and geometrical whatever. So we're going to add some shapes uh, on there. So I hope you're having a good Wednesday morning. Wednesday is always great. It's church day, church night. And so I get to teach my little ones on Wednesday night. And so I always look forward to that. Um, so I'm going to start with this, um, with the cactus flower, the peachy color. Uh, well, it's not the peachy color. It's the more of a pink coral. And so to use these daughters, these uh, sponge pouncers. Um, I don't get it wet until I'm done because if you get it wet, it does get a lot of, uh, a little more bubbles. You're gonna have bubbles with these. You just can't, there's just no way around it. Um, so you are gonna have some bubbles on there. So I'm gonna bring you down a minute and let's see what we can do here. Now I'm also gonna put a little bit of white. You could also put a darker color uh, than what you're doing your base color with. Your uh, the one you're doing your daughter, dauber with, but um, I'm gonna go with white and it'll give the circle just a little bit of a highlight, but it is also pretty like on this, um, on this purple one that I've got there. I've got it with white. You can see the white down here at the bottom, uh, but you could go with a darker purple and make it darker. And so we might try that here in a minute and see what, see what happens. But uh, so right now, Let's go ahead. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to bring you down here so you can see. Say hi when you come on. Let me know who's watching. But let's pull you down here. I just couldn't leave all this white on there. Which, I mean, it looks pretty. The colors are so pretty. And thanks for your suggestions on pulling some of that purple in. I think it really, really made a difference on it. So I'm just going to get it on. I'm going to make sure it's down in the, in the uh, porous part of it real good. Kind of mash it down. But then I'm going to get most of it off and then just on about half uh, of just the outside I'm gonna get that white on there and I'm gonna try not to put it right next to where the this uh, coral color is I want it kind of um, 
away from the color. So we're just going to press down, half turn, and lift up. And what I do is blow it just a little bit to get some of those bubbles out. But isn't that pretty? So I'm going to load it again. And rather than try to wash this out and reuse it with all these different colors, I just have several laying here. And then I'll just wash them out. Because I use them a lot, I have several in my little tray over here. Okay, so I don't want to get it too close. So let's put one, let's put one right here. Down and up. Okay, I'm gonna lay that aside for just a minute but in until I decide if I need any more. Well, let's go ahead since we've got that color out. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's try a triangle with this little thing. I haven't used these in forever. So let's see how it works. So I've got it that coral on there. Let's put one down here. Without the handle, they are a little tricky to hold on to. And I'm just going to press down and lift up. Yay! Okay, I'm going to put another one up here. Y'all do, I sound like a kid. <laughs> when something works out, I get so excited. Well, yay! It worked out. Alright, let's put one Let's put one right, I don't want it right by that circle. Let's stick one right here. And I'm doing them different directions. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that aside. And these are hard plastic, so they're very easy to wash just to put in water. I take a toothbrush and wash them out. Okay, so the next color, let's do this uh, dark teal. It's uh, Apple Barrel Laguna. <coughs> it's pretty. Spa Blue, uh, Apple uh, Deco Art Spa Blue is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I love it. And I have not eaten breakfast yet. I was getting stuff ready. I put supper in the crock pot. And I'll tell you that recipe in just a minute. It is so, so incredibly easy. Makes your house smell wonderful. And it's uh, such a good meal. All right, so I've got it on, but I'm gonna, that's way too much. See how it's kind of mounting up on there? So I'm gonna get most of it off. I'm gonna get a little bit of that white. Just on the edge. And we'll see where we wanna put some of this color. Okay, that color's right there. So let's put one put one in here you don't want to blow them too hard because it'll get uh, it'll splatter it so same thing again and let's put one right here Let's do, I'm not sure how well that yellow is going to show up. We'll do some, but let's do some green right quick. And I'm just putting them back over the spots where I had them yesterday that I was working on them. That shows up good. And we'll put one down here. Let's go ahead and put this another one right here. Okay, so that's our green. We'll see what yellow does.
And I said I was not going to paint again without an apron on. And look at me sitting here. I didn't put an apron on. So keep your fingers crossed. Okay, I don't want to get the green where I just dipped the green in that white. It's still quite a bit there. So skewed it over a little bit. shows up and since I was practicing this for a child's party that I'm going to be doing child's paint party that I'm going to be doing here in a couple of weeks I thought you know they would love doing this and love doing the little different shapes so I will take those shapes also with me there the hardest part is deciding where to put them And if you kind of just pounce down a little bit on it, those bubbles kind of go away as well. Okay, I think I used all of my circles that size. I'm going to do one more yellow. So I'm going to put those in the water so they don't dry out, <clears throat> and then let's use some of these little shapes. in the water and then we've got blue out so let's do some do some circles just cover the rim of it now you could use cookie cutters you could anything you've got around the house that has an edge you could use a, a glass um, lids off of things you just have to find the size that you would want. enough of that color let's do okay we did the dark let's do some of that uh, aloe green deco aloe green let's put some of those on there and oh, we've got to do some purple too I'll do something with that purple okay so this one's a square I'm kind of turning it different directions here so it's all the squares aren't facing the same way let's put one right there and no, I don't want it there there okay so we need some purple let me clean that circle went off and we'll do that with purple 
These were very inexpensive and I have, every time I use them, I just thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy them. Okay, so with this purple, I'm going to try, well, I'm sorry, we already did this, the sponge. I was going to say we'll try it with the darker uh, color on here than the white, but I forgot we're doing this. So that's not going to work. Okay, so a little bit of purple. And I'm not using every color because I don't want it just super, super busy. You could even go inside this, the uh, circles that we did with the sponge pouncers and add some dimension to that. You could really get carried away having fun. I can see that the kids are going to really enjoy this, but I better take aprons. I can already tell that. Okay, and I want to put a little bit of that, um, my spa blue in. Got to get some spa blue. We even have anybody on. Yes, we do. Hi, Kristen and Julie and Christy. Hi, Christy. Christy's been busy with wedding plans for her daughter. Busy, busy times, I'm for sure. We had two more ladies sign up last night and register for the painters event in August. Um, so that's two more. Um, I think I'm going to put together a... Um, a prize or um, something for the first person that gets uh, the very first person that refers five people and they register five people and they register and put your name as the referral the person that referred them um, I just put the wrong color on that I'm going to pick out something out of this room that uh, I've either painted or something that you can use. A really nice gift. I'm going to pull something out. So the first person that gets five people to register and use you as the referral. Now you have to come as well. Um, but I'm going to mail out a very nice prize. I'll get that picked out in the next couple of days. And we'll see. I'm just looking around my room thinking, oh, look at all the stuff around my room that I can pick out. We'll see what it is. So the first person, now I've got two or three of you that already have some referrals. You've already uh, got your name down for extra tickets. The main prize, door prize at the party, uh, the painting event will be a cricket machine. So if you get 10 people to sign up, that's 10 extra tickets in that drawing for you. They just have to put your name as the referral on the registration form. It will be from 9 to 7. That's going to include your lunch, your supper, We'll have at least two projects, probably, uh, possibly three projects, plus we'll have uh, a time set aside just to show you different strokes and some different techniques and um, that we can do. We'll have a photo op uh, time. We'll have a shopping time because I'll have a booth there and possibly a jewelry booth as well. I'm not sure about that yet, but um, I'll have blanks for you to order. Everybody that's coming, uh, if you have a business, please bring your business card. And I will put an itinerary up closer to time to remind you things to bring. If you have your favorite paintbrushes and you want to bring your own paintbrushes, that's great. If you have a painting apron, bring you an apron because uh, I'm sure we'll get messy. <laughs> but uh, anything to, you know, to help make it more comfortable for you. But bring a friend more than anything. Bring a friend. Deadline is... Um, Ooh, not too long away. June, June the 30th is the deadline to sign up uh, for this fun day. And I've had every day this week. Now, I've had at least one a day. And yesterday we had two sign up. So word is finally getting out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me spread the word. So it's just going to be so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to put a few more of these uh, little circles on here. And we're doing it in the purple. Let me bring you back. Oh, I wish you were closer too. How far are you, Julie? How far away are you? All right, let's do a few of these. This color. 
I could just sit and do this all day, y'all. So relaxing. I could sit and talk to y'all all day. I'm sure you would get bored hearing my voice all day long, but I could get on several times a day. Ooh, Georgia. That, yeah, that's a little far, isn't it? <laughs> I have flown uh, and just made a weekend of it to um, two or three different events now. I'm going to do the same thing in, an, um, in September uh, to one. And it's a, if you have your business, it's a write-off. I mean, you can use it as a tax write-off because it is training, um, especially if you have some uh, time set aside for business. But if you do have a business and you are coming, please, please don't hesitate to bring your business cards flyers, anything at all that you want, um, that you want to promote your business. This is what it's all about. Helping each other as small business owners. Um, okay, you share a hometown with Alan Jackson. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> wow, that is a fun fact. Um, but if, um, if you are coming, uh, you know, bring just whatever is going to make you, you comfortable and, um, Make sure that um, <clears throat> that if you're coming from afar and you're just not you're sure about the area, there are several that are coming. I've got one coming from Kansas. I've got somebody, several coming from Oklahoma. We've got some coming from Texas, but have some newbies that signed up yesterday that uh, first time followers. They have not been on here before and they're coming as mother and daughter. Um, so, you know, mother, daughter, but if you need to get a hotel and get on here, there may be somebody that wants to share a hotel room with you and split the cost. Um, you know, that we've done that at several other retreats and, um, you know, I, I don't ever share a room because my husband always goes with me. He's such a sweetheart and we just make a trip out of it and a little weekend getaway and, uh, he goes and does his thing during the day while I'm doing the painting retreat and then, um, <clears throat> So I always have a roommate. So, uh, but so many of them do share two and three, you know, to a room. Um, but that's a way that you can kind of help with the cost on it. The hundred and thirty-five dollars, just to let you know what all that is covering. That is covering your door prizes, your goodie bags that are going to have all kinds of neat little things in them. Uh, that's covering your meals. Just if I get the 64, that that's the full is the 64. So if I get 64, which is what I'm hoping for, um, that will almost fill the room and still give us plenty of room to do everything. But just to rent the place, um, just to rent the place for the day is right at $800. Plus the meals, just the rental and the meals for two meals for that many people, that's a little over $4,000. So um, that's what my costs are going to. And of course the supplies and the things that you will be painting. So $135, if you do the math, that's not leaving me a lot of profit. So I just want you to know that this is not a huge money maker for me. I'm just wanting to get us together to paint. And this was the best option that I could find at the time um, because still things were so closed down for um, COVID and weren't letting us have any parties. This place was very generous in saying, yes, we can do that. You do not have to wear masks. That is not recommended. You are welcome to wear one if you want to. Please don't feel bad about that. If you're more comfortable wearing a mask, wear a mask. Bring a cute one and, and we may all want one too. Uh, but please know that you know it is not required but nobody's going to think anything about you if you want to wear a mask that we still have several at, at church that are wearing them so um that is completely up to you but you know grab a co-worker uh, somebody from church uh, bring a church group our ladies at church we go and do things all the time we'll go five ten women you know we'll go to canton and shop that's a big flea market here in our area about two hours away and uh, we'll all get together and caravan and, and go do something like that together. It's just a great bonding time, but it will be a fun, relaxed day. Don't be nervous about it if you've never painted before. Um, we'll have several, several that have never picked up a paintbrush. Uh, the two that signed up yesterday have never painted before. They're just coming for a fun day out. And, you know, 
Are they going to be expert painters when they leave? No, but they will be able to paint some when they leave. They will learn something and it will be fun and it will spark that creativity in some that have never done it before um, to get them going. And all of you that are seasoned painters, what a great opportunity to help those beside you uh, that have never painted before. Encourage them. The first live that I went to two years ago, the first event, uh, was a couple of years ago, and I was so excited about it. And I've been painting for 30 years. Once I got there, and I didn't know it was gonna hit me this way, but once I got there and I started to walk into the room with all of those ladies, I was so sick at my stomach. I started shaking. I started doubting myself. I thought, what am I doing here? I am not up on the level of, with these painters and everybody's gonna judge what I'm doing and, and what I'm painting. And I got in there, finally sat down. I started to breathe, breathe, you know? And um, I got in there and literally within 10 minutes, I felt like I was with my family uh, everybody was so encouraging and there was all different levels of painters there and um, it, it just was not that feeling at all it was it went away within 10 minutes and that's the way it will be here you'll probably be nervous at first just you know something different something new new people but I promise that will go away within just a few minutes it's going to be fun and exciting and uh, you will learn some techniques that you can take home and build upon and practice upon and um, you're, you're just gonna have a great time the facility itself is um, they have a movie theater, they have bowling, they have arcade games, they have a cafe, and then they have a snack bar. <clears throat> they have places for um, birthday parties and things that they have there all the time. And it's open till midnight, so we're gonna finish up about seven or, or a little after. So if you want to go do something, if your husband comes with you, he can you know do things like that while you're busy or afterwards y'all can go to a movie uh they do bring food to you in the movie if you order it but we will have supper and it's not just a little snacky supper i mean it's it's chicken and so it'll be a nice meal but um that's what it's going to be kind of um about is just not kind of about it is about just meeting each other and like-minded ladies getting together and sharing what they do or learning what we each do and again if you have a business this is a good time to promote your business to promote your facebook um, i am all about sharing with that um, as tamara bennett has taught us in the southern adornments decor uh, and paint to profit in painters clubhouse those are some of the th memberships that i'm a member of it's community over competition and that's the way it should be so i am one that i i don't believe in any negativity on my facebook uh, at my events it's a positive fun day so um i hope to see you there i hope to see some of your friends there but this is the finished product i think i'm done with it let's see here what do you think does it need anything else pretty abstract but the colors i love the colors together so there you go just a fun little thing that you can do and there's so many different ways that you can do it but um i like this one um like I said yesterday, you could put a background, a colored background instead of the white background. Maybe a light pastel color uh, that the other colors would look good on top of. So that's it for today. Contractors should be here any minute. And here we go with uh, construction and destruction again. <laughs> so you guys have a great, great day. I'm not sure if I'll get to hop on tomorrow, but you never know anymore. I'm retired and I'm here and I might be off and on all day. <laughs> so, all right. Y'all have a great Wednesday. Bye-bye.